Let's talk health now. Students and staff of Premper College can now readily access medical attention after the 1998 old boys of the school handed over a two-bedroom bungalow to the alma mater. The facility as part of the year group's legacy project will afford accommodation to a resident nurse for medical care provision even at odd hours on campus. The absence of a stationed health officer at Premper College impedes quick health care delivery. The 1998 group, realizing the pressing need for a stationed nursing staff, invested funds into the construction of the nursing bungalow on campus. The apartment, costing 350 Ghana cities, has two rooms equipped with ancillary facilities. Mohamed Dankwa as a the vice president of the group. So what we did was that we tried to engage the school administration to find out infrastructure-wise, what are their priorities. They list a couple of priorities, but we, we realized that, we analyzed and realized that the, um, the bungalow for the medical facilities they have here is the utmost priority. Because we believe that if you are healthy, your, the brain will be sound, the kids will be able to concentrate on their studies and then um, Im uh, improve on their performance. Headmaster of the school, very Reverend Lewis Asari, is confident the presence of a resident health officer with hasten medical care delivery to students and staff. We had people who man the clinic during the contact hours and after contact hours they will go back. So after contact hours and weekends we did not have anybody to man our clinic. Which meant that when we have health issue, the student had to go outside to seek for uh, health service. Now that we have such an edifice, what it means is that we are going to have a resident nurse and that will be a thing of the past. The gesture forms part of the homecoming activities of the old boys after exiting the four walls of the school 25 years ago. The Silver Jubilee anniversary hinged on highlighting the roles of old students association in Ghana's high school educational reforms. Speaking on the theme, Ashanti Regional Director of Education, Dr. William Amankra, emphasized the contribution of past students under the free SHS intervention. You see, the government is doing everything. At the end of the day, there are a lot of people to cater for. So we need them to also help us, meet us halfway. That doesn't imply that they come and take over the school for us. They can also help us through the technological aid, the donation of computers, robotics uh, equipment, and other things. Support the system so that we can have a good group of people.